you thought the video was going to start outside East Midlands Airport, didn't you? Like every other video that I do. But not today, because I'm stopping in a hotel the night before, because we're off to uh, Mallorca in the morning at 6am early flight. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, who are Surfshark. And without them, this trip would not be possible. More about that later. Now, we're heading off in the morning, 6 o'clock am, I believe, on Jet 2, but we're stopping right here at the Leonardo Hotel the night before and I thought you know what we'll bring a bit of food into it as well so we're gonna have a little bit of a uh, spot of dinner in there mark it out of ten also maybe have a little drink I'm not sure about that yet and uh, and then we're gonna head off in the morning over to East Midlands Airport I might give it a bit of a recce and see how far it is because it did say it was only about a minute away but we shall see so we're gonna head in there have a little bite to eat and uh, I'm gonna capture lots of footage along the way I've actually got a window seat so I'm super excited about that one so we can get ground footage as we normally do we're gonna have a little drink and maybe a little bite to eat on board as well so I'm looking forward to this one we're gonna get lots of great footage so do hit the subscribe button and if you like the video give it a thumbs up now without further ado my friends let's go Right, well, I thought I'd do a bit of a recce first because online it said that the hotel was literally a minute's walk to the airport and I thought, well, I don't want to get to sort of like 4.30 a.m. in the morning because we fly at 6 and find out it's not right and we've got a 10, 15 minute walk or even worse, I've got to get a taxi. However, they were right, you literally walk over the road and we're straight to the airport. A lot of building work going off as well. And we're right near Donington as well, you can hear the race cars uh, as well. I don't think you'll be able to actually hear them but I can, uh, which is quite exciting because I love the sound of a race car. That's all going to disappear, isn't it, when we all go uh, EVs and EV racing. Anyway, it's not about electric cars. We've got food in this and we've got flights. Anyway, I'm pretty excited because Alex from Mallorca Under the Sun emailed me and she's given me a list of things that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go to Palma for the day and maybe a, 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 the Market Kitchen restaurant. Um, definitely our Coudia Chassés and a Strip, Beach, Port and Old Town. Uh, and then we're going to do uh, Puerto Palenza uh, and the Old Town. Maybe uh, Sacoma, if I'm not pronouncing some of these right, I do apologise. Uh, Calamilor and Calabona uh, and Calador is popular, but it's a long way to go for one resort, but it's big and spread out, so we may do them as well. Uh, we're going to do Magaluf. It says, I'm going to go straight to, she's told me to go straight to Blackbeard's for food when I arrive. Uh, it's on the beach, about five minutes walk from the hotel, and it said, uh, can't say anything bad about this place. The best ribs and burgers in Mallorca. Amazing steaks, etc. So, um, and also Tom Brown's, which has just been renovated uh, for breakfast, or the happy house further down the beach, beyond Blackbeard's for the cheapest breakfast. Loads of places uh, in uh, Maga to choose from. So, uh, in Maga, Magaluf, 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 Magaluf. Uh, we've also got Palma Nova uh, as well, which is going to take us to lots of Brit food places too. Anyway, a really English place uh, that does toad in the hole. Oh, I love toad in the hole. Uh, and bread and butter pudding, etc., is a place called Natalie's. Now, stop right there because I can hear Phil and Janice there saying, I think you'll find it should be. It's not even going to try any, uh, any Spanish food and any poella. Uh, well, <laughs> we're going to try some of that as well, just for a bit of a change. We're going to also go to Santa Ponsa uh, and also uh, Mrs. Murphy's Kitchen, which uh, serves traditional Irish food. Uh, we're going to walk to uh, Della Costa del uh, Karma uh, Sunset from Santa Ponsa Square. There's uh, also a chippy in Santa Ponsa Square as well. Be rude not to get fish and chips, wouldn't it, seeing as I am the uh, fish and chip aficionado. 
San Caliu as well, and uh, also uh, we've got uh, what else have we got here? Murrow Beach, Can Pick a Fort. Uh, you get the idea anyway. There is a whole list of things that we're going to be doing, and Alex from York Under the Sun is going to be showing us them. So I'm super excited about this one. Right, let's get back to the hotel because I'm going to get something to eat. Come on then, let's get back to the hotel. The big question is though, do I have a beer before I fly? I don't normally like to drink before I get on a plane, but it is the night before. Do I have a bit? Would you have a beer the night before? I want to be clear headed in the morning. Do I just have a fizzy water instead? Or is that a bit boring? What would you do? Let me know. Right, I've made my mind up, one drink, one bite to eat, and then early to bed. But before we go any further, I just want to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, who have made this trip to Mallorca possible. And they are Surfshark. Surfshark are a VPN company, which stands for Virtual Private Network, and helps keep all of your very important information safe. Now, an easy way to think about it is, Surfshark puts a middleman between you and any hackers that are trying to steal your information, which for me is vital, especially as I'm always traveling around using public Wi-Fi in airports, hotels, such as this one, restaurants and coffee shops, logging onto my bank accounts, social media and my YouTube account to upload my videos. Now, logging onto a public Wi-Fi leaves you wide open to hackers and people who are on the same network. And if they wanted to steal your information, believe me, they very easily could. However, with Surfshark, I'm protected as it encrypts my data and adds an extra layer of protection to help keep my passwords and personal information safe. Oh, and it also allows unlimited devices on one account, which for me is ideal, because I can use them on my mobile phone, tablet, and laptop. But by far the coolest thing for me about Surfshark is the fact that while I'm away from home, overseas, I can still access my favorite shows on streaming services, such as Netflix and Amazon Prime, which are normally blocked in other countries. Now, how does it do this, you ask? Well, it does this by swapping the real location of your device with a new one, aka changing your IP address. This way, you can virtually travel to any country around the world. This also comes in handy for me when I'm back home in the UK, as there's a couple of shows I like to watch on Netflix that are only available in the USA. So, I open up Surfshark, change my location to the USA, and voila! Now, the good news is you can get yourself an exclusive Surfshark deal. Enter the promo code MACMASTER for an additional three months for free. Just click the link in the description below or scan the QR code that's on screen now. And Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out. Don't forget, click the link in the description down below. Now, let's get inside. friends okay so here we are inside the hotel gonna have a bite to eat um i'm gonna have a pint i think just one uh for the flight one for the flight and that's it i don't like to drink too much before a flight and i want a clear head in the morning um just looking they've got burgers they've got pizzas they've got steaks uh not quite a few things there are some they've got fish and chips not sure about that though hmm anyway have a look at the menu while i make my mind up
Right, so uh, I've actually chosen, I've, I've gone fish and chips in the end, basically because earlier on I filmed another video which you've seen already for the Sunday roast. I didn't fancy any meat and I fancied some fish and I thought, do you know what, I'll just go. I, I know where I am with the fish and chips and I've had a, a pint of Stella as well. Can't go wrong with that. like an ice cream in it with that head on it. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this. We've got um, beer battered fish and chips, £17.50. Sustainably sourced fish from the UK, probably from Tesco's freezer. Uh, lightly battered and served with a crushed garden peas, tartar sauce and skin on fries. Now that is controversial, skin on fries, isn't it? Because um, a lot of people don't like that. They just say it's lazy. I personally don't mind, I think it's all right. The, uh, the crushed garden peas though, that's a bit pretentious isn't it, eh? crushed peas. Anyway, I am looking forward to it, so uh, we'll mark it out of 10. Got, on, got I want to say we've got a long flight to home, it's, we haven't, it's a short one isn't it? I think it's about two hours, two and a half hours really, so it's not too bad at all to get some sunshine. Don't think we've seen any in the UK for the last six months, so I'm looking forward to that sunshine. Cheers. Right, so the food has arrived. Uh, I had to go and get my own malt vinegar. They brought me a, an amalgamation of sauces, but uh, forgot the vinegar, which you need uh, when you are having fish and chips. You've got to have vinegar on your chips, haven't you? Um, my only concern is it came within about four minutes of me ordering it, which slightly bothers me. That worries me somewhat, but we'll, should, we'll, we shall reserve judgment. Uh, I've got salt there. Yeah, that's salt. Okay, pop a bit of salt on there. So anyway, before I had tuck in, just take a closer look, my friends. Right, knife and fork got the different sauce we've got tartar sauce there anyway what sauces have we got here this is the sauce shop actually which is a, a Nottingham brand I believe pretty sure that's a Nottingham brand because I filmed them for the Nottingham food and drink awards sauce shop I'm gonna yes it is Nottingham I was right there we go very good sauce brand actually sauce shop we've got to chip water and lime aioli there as well and we've also got some uh, mayonnaise sauce shop again uh, we've got, uh, what else have we got here? Cherry bourbon barbecue sauce. Wow, we've got a lot of uh, sauces here. And also buffalo hot sauce as well, which I won't need with the um, fish and chips. All in, all in a nice little sauce shop. This is a sauce shop um, tray there. Anyway, let's dig in before this gets cold. I think we'll put the, um, we'll actually squeeze this lemon on. We'll cut this down the middle there. Butter's nice and crispy. There we go. Let's have a look. Okay. Yeah. We'll reserve judgment on Let's pop that in there. Get a bit of lemon in there. Okay. Is there any skin on the fish? No skin on the fish? Wow. That is hot. Crikey. Incredibly hot, I've got to tell you. Um, we've got the chips as well. Not too bad, quite, quite nice. Let's get on fries. Let's get into the peas. Crushed peas. That actually tastes quite nice. Right, let's have a look. Fish, it's a tad dry, but to be fair, very tasty. A little bit greasy on the uh, on the batter outside and the fish is a tad dry but it's still tasty and it is nice better than I thought it was going to be so I think I'll eat this then come back to you, you can see the grease on there I'm going to mark it out of 10 never put a food video in a travel video before but food review in a travel video it makes a bit of a difference anyway leave me to it and I'll see you see you in a minute
Right, well, on closer inspection, the fries are a little bit um, dry. It looks like they've been under a heat lamp or something. I'd take a guess. It serves a purpose. It's not the worst food that I've had. Um, it's close to it, but it's not the worst. It's all right. It serves a purpose. I'm going to go with a... I can't give it any more than a five, to be fair. Um, so I'm just going to get the bill. You know, I'm not even going to show you the receipt. You can see what it working out by the menu. One Stella, fish and chips. Let's get back to the room. Um, things have only got to get better from here because um, I'll let you into a little secret as well. I packed my suitcase and I forgot to pack any underwear, which is a tad annoying really, isn't it? So uh, it's catastrophic. So I'm going to have to get, when I get to Palmer, I'm going to have to go and... Um, get some underwear and go underwear shopping before we uh, st start filming so um, you've got to see the funny side I guess haven't you anyway I think um, as you can see they're a bit they're a bit dry anyway we shall leave that and I'll see you back in the hotel room in a minute <sighs> right 8.30, well, 8.28, so I reckon I did pretty well there. I'm back, I did have another Stella, you probably saw the receipt there, but I'm okay. And I'm gonna to get to bed for 9 uh, nine p.m. And then we get up at 3 a.m. So that gives me a good six hours sleep. I've edited tomorrow's video, that's already done, so I'm uh, good with that. I started filming this video, so I'm good with that. Downloaded that footage, so I'm gonna hit the sack. It's Nice little big bed there, double bed. Uh, is it comfortable? Let's have a look. Let's tell you what, take my shoes off. Take my shoes off and let's try it. Here we go. Oh, it's all right. I'll tell you what though, my feet stick out there and I'm gonna have to move up a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's not bad. Wasn't cheap though, I gotta tell you. It was 105 pounds for the night for the room it is a nice room though, a couple of beds in here, got a nice desk. Have a look, I've got a desk here, look. There's my desk. Oh, what's that? Cheeky gin and tonic for in a bit. And then water for in the night, there we go. Got my computer set up. Got TV just here, then through here, ironing board. Toilet in there, which I haven't put the toilet seat down, so just one second. There we go. So, toilet there, shower. There we go. Compact but bijou. Compact but bijou. Uh, sink. What else have we got in here? Hand wash. Safe. It's not bad. Does the job. And it's only a couple of minutes walk from the airport. Right, I'll see you in a minute when I uh, head off into bed because we're going to get a good night's sleep. So might be, I've got a little bit of work to do, so it's going to probably be about 9.30. Then we'll hit the sack, we'll get up in the morning. So don't go anywhere because we've got, I am super excited. I'm using that too much. I'm using that phrase too much at the moment. I am really excited to get over to Mallorca, get some sunshine, meet up with Alex from Mallorca Under the Sun and show you lots of different places over there and bring a little bit of sunshine into your life and not just keep talking about EVs on this channel. It's travel, food, tech. It's all just to bring a smile to your face in a world that really it's just all bad news, isn't it, on the TV? Well, there's no bad news here other than the fact that I forgot to pack any underpants which is a bit of bad news really isn't it but if that's all i mean we'll we'll, we'll work it out we'll get some we'll get some underpants <laughs> i can't believe i forgot i got my socks and everything and that means i've got to wear the same underpants tomorrow <sighs> I, I did only put them on a couple of hours ago so we're all right oh right oh, it's half past ten now I've edited the first bit of video, so all the uh, first bit of video that you've seen with all the fish and chips, etc., and the beginning and the intro, I've just edited that. That took me ages, took me about two hours. So that's just the first bit up to here, and then I've got to edit the rest. So uh, I'm absolutely shattered. Um, gate closes at 5.30 in the morning, so I reckon I'm going to get up around about maybe three, then get out of here for about half past three, uh, and then walk over the road. So uh, I'm going to get I'm going to get to sleep. I'm absolutely shattered, but I am excited, really excited to uh, see Mallorca and uh, all the stuff that Alex has got planned as well. So I shall see you guys in the morning.
to me Yorker. Right. Oh. Go on then. I need to, you know, get out of bed. I don't want you to see anything. See you in a minute. Go on. Go on. Oh. Oh. Right. Two minutes in the bathroom and Lee the MacMaster looks great as usual. Isn't it amazing how things from our childhood influence us throughout our lives? Because that was a line actually from the young ones and it was, I think it was two minutes in the bathroom and Mike the cool person looks great as usual. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Did you watch the young ones? How many years? You'd never get that passed by TV now, broadcasting nowadays. Got my Barocca, one second. Oh dear, they're expensive they are. Right, it is now uh, 3.56. Did take me a little bit longer than two minutes actually. It took me a while. Uh, so anyway, we're going to get on our way now. Have a walk over to East Midlands Airport. Get through security. Go see if we can see a few planes taking off, etc. And we're going to capture the entire journey over to Mallorca. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you are enjoying it. Come on, onwards my friends. back off and let's walk over to the airport hopefully it's not raining Thank you. and we are in luck it is not raining ha oh. hopefully things are going to go better I forgot my underpants the fish and chips weren't that great but there's normally things come in threes don't we hopefully nothing else hopefully nothing else right literally just walk over to the airport let's get through security that's the bit that's the faffing around isn't it hang on where am i going here i need to cross this road that's a roundabout i need to cross over here all right one second here we go oh dear there's something about this time in the morning isn't there nice and fresh and it's starting to get a little bit warmer in the morning and a little bit lighter in the uk now we're heading towards summer hopefully we'll have a good summer this year right anyway come on onwards i need coffee Oh, okay, wow, there's a lot of people going in. It's busy for this time in the morning. Lots of people heading off on their holly bobs. Holly bobs. That's, that sounded naff. I'm not re-recording. That was naff. It's actually not too busy. Not if it's going to be busy with all the people walking in, but it seems all right. Let's not speak too soon until we get through to security. Right, I'm going to get through to security now. I'm not going to take you with me. I always say this because I don't want any rubber glove treatment. We want none of that action. 
I get enough of that off of the uh, electric charge point people who charge me all that money. Anyway, I shall see you on the other side. Fingers crossed. Right, okay, through security. I've got to say, right, they took everything out of my bag, out of my backpack. I took, I took my laptop out, I took my iPad out, and then they said, oh, have you got any camera gear in there? They took everything out of my bag, right? I forgot to take my liquids out of my suitcase. That got through, no problem whatsoever. Didn't even take it out of my suitcase, so they missed that. I'm gonna say this, the airport's now charge an absolute fortune just to drop you off. I think it's something like four or five quid to literally get somebody to drop you to the door. So use that money to change your security system, like Manchester, where you don't have to take anything out of your bag at all. So there we go. Anyway, nearly got knocked over by the door there. Let's get through duty free and get through the other side. We've got an hour now, so come on, onwards. bottles of Jameson, one litre, two for 44.26. Um, I think it's on offer in Asda at the moment for around about the same price. Anyway, they're giving a few samples out there of uh, vodka. I think I might give that a miss at this time in the morning. I need coffee, come on. What am I going to ask you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, do you know what? I haven't got a clue. I've got no idea, but we've got Gary and we've got... No, I was going to say Morag. We've got Gary and Morag, but you said it was Morag. But it's Gary and Jill, actually. Yeah. And you're, you're on the same plane as me. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what? I hope you're next to me because well, it makes three. it... Three. You're three. Oh, let me see actually what I am. I don't know. Do you know? I'm, I'm a, no, I might be at the. I don't know what I, I am actually. Middle, let me have a look. I'm, uh, so I'm 25. Oh. Yeah. It would have been. So you're going to Calador. Yes. So yes. The same, how long are you going for? Till Saturday, five nights. Till Saturday, five yeah. Where's my nice. nice. Are you looking? You now you watch the you watch the videos. Don't we you? do like every day. video. We never miss one of them. Six fifty, cup of tea, chocolate biscuit. <laughs> cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit in the Mac Master. Five grand. <laughs> Are we being filmed? You are being filmed, yeah, you're on the video. Yeah. You haven't brought Dave for you, have you? I haven't brought oh, Dave no, 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 no. I, I keep trying to get him on board, but he won't uh, come along with me. So, We're uh, your most ardent fans. We press the button, ring the bell, everything. Jill's saying, come on, it's 6.15, get Six, the master on. <laughs> 6.15, no pressure now. No, no. This, this one's hopefully for tomorrow, if not, I'm going to have to do oh, a bit we're, of a teaser. We're not seeing see see these now until we get back. Oh, you're going to save, save, save them yeah, all up. save them all up. You're going to need a few chocolate biscuits because this one's <laughs> this one's going to be about over an hour long this one so uh, i'll tell you what i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna change camera angles now and i'm gonna get them to say onwards my friends oh, yeah. after three you've got to go onwards my friends yeah. and point to the camera three two one onwards, onwards my, my friends, friends. <laughs> right what a lovely couple right i've got to get some um Sudafed, but i think i'm just gonna go for the boots one i haven't got a cold but i have an issue when uh, I'm flying with my sinuses, and if I take one of these, it normally makes it a little bit better. Max strength sinus pressure. That'll do. Continuity error there because I went back and got the uh, the day ones. I picked up the day and night ones. Anyway, got them now. So uh, ah, maybe time for a coffee. Yeah, let's go and grab a quick Starbucks coffee. Hi, morning. Could I have a skinny latte, please? Just a small one, thank you. Uh, anything else? Uh, that's it. Thank you. Four pound forty. And he wanted a coffee. Not, not the whole of Brazil.
Ooh, right, drink my coffee and then we'll uh, get through. It's gate three apparently because that lovely couple told me they said it's gate three but it's not appeared on the board yet so I've got heads up there. So I'll drink this and then we'll get through. Right, we've got some more viewers of the channel. Brent and Laurie from Mansfield. What's well, Skegby, which is Mansfield? Yeah, yeah. Mansfield or is it Sutton? Sutton in Ashfield. Ashfield. Yeah. I mean, I am from Sutton in Ashfield. It says on my passport, <laughs> Sutton in Ashfield. Were you born there as well? Yeah. Kings Mill? Kings Mill, yeah. yeah. Good lad, good lad. Now, where are you off to? Mallorca. Yeah. Mallorca. Is it Mallorca or is it Majorca or is it Mallorca? What is it? Yeah. Mallorca. Mallorca. Yeah, Mallorca. Mallorca. <laughs> Do you remember that advert years ago? Water. In Mallorca. Don't taste, taste like, like what it water. The water in Mallorca don't taste like what it alter. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say onwards, my friends? Onwards, onwards my, my friends. friends. <laughs> Hang on a minute, JD Sports, they might just save the day. Forty-two quid? I'd want an extra three inch with that. Good grief. Do you know what? I think I might take these. Three, 30 pound, but I need them, don't I? They're emergency, and I'll get some more when I'm there. I'm picking up the XL ones, by the way, and I probably only need the smaller ones just for the camera to show off. It's gone paid for them. Right, so I ended up buying them. I'm telling you what, for £30.60, right? Because I normally just get my box of shorts from Georgia Asda. I'm hoping that it actually does look like that on the box, right? That I actually look like that for that price. Mental. I'll just buy these for emergency, then we'll get some cheaper ones when we get there. Right, okay. 30, I can't go over it. 30 quid for underwear. Good grief. <laughs> At least I've got some anyway. Look on the bright side. That could have been a major, major wardrobe malfunction, that could. Right, on board, settled in, uh, 5.41, takeoff is at six o'clock, so, uh, oh, right, now I can relax. Oh, bit of a camera movement there, keeping it in, keeping it in. All right, have a look through the window.
Right, well, I'm not going to film the entire menu again because it's the same edition as last time. So just head back and have a look at my last video uh, if you want to see that. But I'm going to have a look. I might need a little snackette on the way. I haven't had any breakfast. I have managed to have a, an extortionate coffee, though, was, at, uh, which is on board. It's actually cheaper on board. Three three quid on board. Um, got bacon sandwich, hot bacon baguette. I might go for one of them with a cup of, cup of tea. Could be Yorkshire tea. Could be Yorkshire. Good morning from the fly deck. My name is James Bradley. I'm from the fly deck. See if this officer Martin Smith. Uh, very welcome on our flight down to Palma, New York. First of all, thanks for sending the flight so quickly. Uh, we'll be ready in about seven or eight minutes, just waiting for air traffic control to release us on the hour. Uh, a bit breezy for our departure, so probably a few bumps through the clouds. We're watching the cruise, it smoothens out, and the weather down in New York is going to be beautiful, probably about 20 degrees by the time we land. I think they're forecasting up to 27 degrees by mid afternoon. I'm doing the flying, so I'll take you down there and I'll talk to you in the cruise and give you an update. Uh, all our arrival time, latest weather, as well as we get closer. Uh, flight time says two hours and six minutes on the paperwork, it's about average for this flight. Uh, we're already so we can drop in close to two hours, please, so we get you guys on your holiday as soon as possible. In the cabin, great team are on my Friday. Here in the team, we're going to show you a safety demonstration very shortly. Just appreciate a few bits of your attention and then you can sit back and relax. So just bear with us, uh, as I said, about six or seven more minutes. Wait for everyone to release us and we'll be underway. There you go. <laughs> two hours not a bad flight time that i have to say by the way if anybody from jet 2 is watching can you change that music now because i'm sick of listening to come and hold my hand and i'm pretty sure that the cabin crew probably are too it's, it's just gone on too long I mean, come on come and hold my hand she must be getting paid an absolute fortune in royalties for that it's crazy Now I am going to try uh, and show you what we're flying over because I've downloaded the Google Maps and if I can get a GPS signal then I can show you where we're flying over of the shots that I'm actually taking out of the window. So fingers crossed it'll work. It did uh, when we came back from Cyprus last time so hopefully it will do it again. Uh, you have to open Google Maps and pretty much just download that portion of the map so fingers crossed it'll work.
Right, well, so far so good. Um, Google Maps seems to be working okay, so I can see where we're going. However, the UK is literally just a blanket of cloud. I mean, there hasn't even been a break in the cloud. It shows how much cloud cover there really is in the UK. I mean, come on, it's April. No wonder everybody's depressed and miserable and whinging all the time. It's, uh, we need some blue sky. And that's what I think we're going to get in Mallorca, Majorca, Mallorca, whatever. And I, by the way, I'm wearing my cap on back to front so I can get my head close to the window. Not so I uh, look cool because it doesn't make me look cool. It makes me look like a complete cockwomble. Anyway, onwards, my friends. I think I'm going to have a bacon sarnie and a cup of, cup of Yorkshire. Right, so I've ended up having a, a Yorkshire tea and a Kit Kat because I did want a bacon sandwich but they sold the last one so unfortunately I am out of luck. Now we have got uh, pretty bad turbulence so everyone's got to put the seatbelt on and uh, stay in the seats and the toilets are closed as you probably just heard there. Um, we are going to get in a little bit earlier I think so uh, a couple of hours should do it but the turbulence is not great. Fancy the bacon sarnie. That's the third thing that's gone wrong. We'll take that one. We'll take it. That's all that's gone. And I got my box of shorts. Thank goodness. Just need a few more. Need another seven pairs. Right, I've mashed my tea. I managed to get the milk in. I've got to tell you, that was a little bit tricky, to say the least, when you're going through turbulence with red hot scalding hot water um, so uh, managed it I'm going to let it cool down a little bit I do like to put a little bit of ice in my tea or in my coffee if it's red hot and it just cools it down a bit that's what I did earlier on with the Starbucks coffee that was like lava anyway I'm going to drink my tea have my Kit Kat and hopefully we'll be there not too much longer Uh, right about, I've got to pass the line, 10 past 9, depending on how traffic control 
Uh, latest weather I said uh, it's about 16 degrees, uh, blue skies at the moment, just pretty very, very cold winds. It's going to be uh, very, very nice when you step up the airport. So the airport itself is a little bit inland, so we're going to go over uh, past the mountain range in around about uh, 15 minutes and then uh, turn right uh, heading towards the airport, which should be on the uh, eastern uh, sort of western coast line. Get some nice views on the left on the right hand side of the aircraft with all our approach uh, using the mountains on the right and the lowlands on the left. So when we last, as I mentioned before, any about five minutes to talk to you, okay, but please remain seated as you've lost cost until you've got to a full stop and then we'll turn the engines off and see what's on after that. It's been our pleasure, I'd like to thank you for cheers for five months. I hope you have a brilliant holiday, nice as well, and uh, come through, please prepare the company for the next Right, well, you heard the captain there, uh, not long now for landing, so we're uh, very cloudy outside, but I don't know whether you heard it very clearly. It wasn't overly clear, uh, even uh, I couldn't hear him that well. Uh, but he did say that, uh, yes, it is cloudy, but it's early and it will burn off uh, later on. It's normally like this, so the sun will burn it off. So it looks like it's going to be a nice day. So um, sit back, get yourself a drink, and I'll see you guys on the ground in a minute. It's been a, not, not too bad a fly, a little bit of turbulence, a little bit of turbulence. Right, I'll see you on the ground, my friends.
Right, okay, that makes a change, getting off the plane and uh, not walking onto the runway. Apparently there's a long line, a long queue at um, security and passport control, so uh, might just have a, a bit of a wait. Right through passport control, uh, one of them automated barriers, and then they stamp your passport after. Have to say, them automated barriers, wherever you go in the world, are a nightmare. They should get Apple to do the uh, technology on that because the facial recognition on your phone, on the iPhones, work perfectly. So just put the same facial recognition system in them. It takes ages. Wow, this is a big airport. Um, let's try and find the coach transfers now. I've got free transfers. I hope my hotel's first. Although, I won't be able to check in till three, and uh, that's about another five hours away. So, uh, get to do a bit of work first. Public bus, don't want that. Want the transfers, where is it? Exit. Exit. Let's find the exit and find the Jet 2 staff. Ah, there they are, the friendly Jet 2 staff in red. Let's find out where we're going. Right, so, got to go to number six, pillar number six, and then there's a Jet 2 desk, and they'll give me the coach number. All organised. Hi there. Uh, Two holidays? Yes. Yes, and what hotel are you going to do? So, the coach isn't here just yet, so uh, she says, uh, take a seat, and uh, she'll come and get me when the coach has arrived. So, got a bit of a wait. Uh, oh well, do a bit of work. Not going to whinge. Let's just get on with it. At least got a free kit. Well, it, is it free? Free transfers? It's in with a price, isn't it? Anyway, I'll have a little bit of a little bit of work, and then we'll get on our way. too hot it's too hot <laughs> actually it's quite nice it's just nice right where are we am i going the right way here? she says out here right it's more of a coach more of a little mini bus isn't it than a than a coach oh well we'll go with it
Oh, right, here we are. Magaluf. Have it. Right, lots and lots of videos coming your way over the next few days. And uh, super excited about it. I'm going to meet up with Alex from Mallorca Under the Sun as well. Her link, it will be at the end and also down below. Head over and follow Alex as well, because you will also see me on her channel as well as this channel. Now, do not forget to get yourself that Surfshark deal. Thank you again to today's sponsors who are Surfshark. Don't forget, click the link in the description down below. Use the code MacMaster and get yourself an additional three months for free. Use the code in the description down below and also you can uh, scan the QR code that's on screen now as well. One of these, somewhere down here, somewhere. Anyway, I am looking forward to this. The weather's going to be great. Lots and lots of places to visit. Lots and lots of different restaurants, etc. It's going to be a good one. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to be a fantastic series. So make sure you hit that sub subscribe button, put my teeth back in, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And that's before a pint.